Hello, you are most welcome. Yeah, it's Henry the Computer Guy. And in this video, we are going to be learning how we can burn our files and folders onto our desk. Actually, as a candidate, remember that you always are required to burn all your files onto the desk. Uh, in that case, they will ask you to create a folder. And after creating a folder, they will tell you to save all your work into that folder. And after saving them into that folder, they will tell you to burn all those files onto a disk, uh, which is always accompanied by a printout uh, of what you've done during the practical exam. So in this video, we are actually going to be looking at two formats we can use to burn our files onto the disk. Uh, but before we do this practically, let's first of all summarize some of the requirements we may need to burn our files onto the disk. So first of all, I may need to have either a CD or a DVD. For example, it will depend on the amount of data I want to burn onto that disk. Uh, for example, if I have information less than 700 MBs, I may go for what we call a CD. And if I have information that is more than uh, 700 MBs, but less than 4.7 GBs, then I have to go for what we call a DVD. And number two, uh, we may need to have what we call a CD or DVD writer. Uh, for example, if you want to put information or burn your information to a CD, you may use what we call a CD writer. And if you want to burn information onto your DVD, then you may need to have uh, what we call a DVD writer. But what you have to note, a DVD writer can be able to record or burn information on both a CD and a DVD, which is not the case with a CD writer that can never burn information to a DVD. So having explained all that, uh, we can now dive into the real practice and see how we can do this. So first of all, uh, what I'm going to do is to open my computer um, by right clicking onto it, then come to the option that says open. And having opened it, of course, I've already connected my DVD writer, and this is the one that I'm going to be using. So we have identified our DVD writer. Another thing is going to be identifying the files we are going to be putting onto or burning onto our disk. Uh, for example, I already created a folder here. I can right click on it, then click on the option that says open uh, for us to see the files that are there. And we have the files uh, 10. Uh, we are going to be burning them onto our disk. So I can now close the folder. So having identified all the two that we have, I'm actually going to be inserting my uh, DVD or CD into my DVD writer. Uh, so I'll come onto this DVD writer. I'll right click on it, then click on the option that says eject. I want to open it. And having opened it, of course, I'm going to be required to enter or insert my CD or DVD. Remember, we said a DVD writer can be able to burn information on both a CD and a DVD. So that means that you can use any of the two that you feel you want. So after inserting that DVD or CD into uh, that drive, you give it some time uh, to load. As you're waiting, uh, being patient, uh, you give it some time and see what it does uh, actually for you. So finally, our DVD has actually been read and they're telling us down here that it is having 4.38 GB uh, free of 4.38 GB. That means that it is having nothing. So we want to put our files onto this disk, then we can be able to burn them to that disk. So what I'm going to do, I can either choose to uh, open this DVD or drag my files and drop them onto uh, this section where we have our DVD writer. And that is what I'm actually going to be doing. So I'm going to come and hold, uh, drag my files, then drop them onto this section where we have the DVD uh, writer. And having dropped them there, uh, it is actually going to ask me some questions here. For example, how do you want to use this disk? And the first option up here is that a title. So we can give our CD or DVD a title. For example, if you're doing, let's say, a UNEB paper, you can as well call it, let's say, UNEB. Uh, let's say I'm going to be saying 2020. So that is my title. If at all you're doing mock, you can as well be able to put, let's say, the mock you're doing. 
If at all you want to put a name, you can as well put a name of your choice. For example, I can put Henry, the computer guy. And having put our title, we have some more two options down here, for example, like a USB flash drive. And down here, they're telling us that you can save, you can edit and delete files on this disk anytime that you feel you want. So if we burn it using the option above here, for example, USB flash drive, we can as well be able to remove or add information to that disk. So it will help us to format it, then it makes it like a flash, whereby you can either add or delete the data to that uh, disk that you have used. But the problem with this is that uh, if your computer is having a virus, uh, that information can always be affected by a virus. So now the second option is uh, with a disk or with a CD or DVD player. And that means that when you burn these files onto that disk, they will never be edited. So that means that you're going to be recording this information permanently. No modifications will be made for you or will be allowed to be uh, made onto that disk. And I recommend this option because if I told you have, you're having a computer that has a virus and you put in that uh, CD or DVD, it can never be affected by the virus. So that is it uh, that I've explained for those two options, but you can as well be able to choose any of the two that you feel you want. The choice is just yours. So for my case, I'm going to be using a CD or DVD player. So I'm going to come and click on the option that says, uh, let me just drag this one aside so that we can be able to see everything. I'm going to click on the option that says next going to click on the option that says next. And having clicked next, uh, they're actually telling me these are the files that I'm having, and I can now be able to burn them to the disk. But where are we going to find that option uh, for burning these files to the disk? Uh, let me uh, enlarge this a little bit. Uh, we are seeing that we have our drive here, then the files we are going to be burning to that drive. We can even double check by opening them, double click on them, then you can be able to see the files. You can even change the view uh, just like that. Uh, we can now come back and click on the option that says PC. And having clicked there, you're going to be selecting our DVD writer by right clicking onto it, then come to more options then click on the option that says burn to disk. So remember we are burning this information to our, our disk. So I'm going to click uh, this option and uh, it is going to actually uh, ask uh, some questions. For example, prepare this disk. And for example, we have already put the title. We cannot uh, change it or we can as well be able to change it if we feel we want. Uh, then down here, we have the recording speed. Uh, you can as well be able to choose from these speeds, but I would recommend uh, you take or you choose the speed which is this because it will give you the, uh, the better quality uh, recording of information that you have recorded of a better quality than a higher speed. So I'm actually going to be picking, let's say, a 4X. So after that, I can say, close the wizard after the files have been Band or band. So I'm going to select this option, then I will come and click uh, next. And having uh, clicked there, you're going to give it some time as it is burning your information to the disk. You have to be a little bit patient. Finally, our disk is burning. You're seeing the progress, it is soon uh, finishing. And they're telling that estimated time left is 30 seconds. Uh, you have to be a little bit patient and wait for it to finish. Uh, wait for it to finish, then you can as well be able to see the information which is there. So finally, our disk is uh, finishing and it has actually finished, then it has also closed the wizard. So that is what exactly we told it to do. After finishing to burn the files, then you can close the wizard. So that has been actually method one of burning our files to the disk, but we've used the uh, windows. That is the inbuilt uh, windows option that we can use to burn our files to the disk. And now what we are going to be doing, we can actually check our a disk to see whether the information is there by inserting it again into the computer and give it some time to load. Remember, we want to 
uh, have some proof whether our information has been burned or recorded to the disk. So you put it back, then you can be able to check or open it and see whether it's there. So finally, it has opened. So I'm going to come to my DVD uh, writer. I'll right click onto it, then click on the option that says open. And having opened it, so the information is actually here. Files currently on the disk, they're here. So we can as well be able to open them, then we can be able to view them. That is actually how we can use Windows to burn our files and folders to the disk. So this option is actually done. We are going to be going to method two, for example, using a shampoo. Let's first of all eject this and we go to the next option. I'm going to right click here, then I will click on the option that says eject. And having ejected it, it is actually going to be taken out of my computer. So that has been actually uh, method one. So now we are going to be using method two to see how we can burn our files to a disk. For example, using a utility program or burning utility, for example, a shampoo, Nero, a power ISO, or any other software that you feel you want to use. So let me close this, or I make this one a little bit uh, smaller. Um, let me put it aside by dragging it to the uh, right hand side. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to minimize it. And having minimized it, I'm going to come and look for my program I'm going to be using. For example, for my case, I'm going to be using a, a shampoo burning studio. So I'll come to my a shampoo, right click on it, then click on the option that says open. And you give it some time to load. They're telling me a shampoo burning studio. So I'll give it some time to fully load. So finally, it is down here and I'm going to click on it uh, for it to be uh, displayed for me. So finally, this is my Ashampo Studio. But remember, we have our files we want to burn onto this disk, for example, and they are the same files we are going to be burning onto our disk. But this time around, we are going to be choosing another CD or DVD that we are going to be using. Ashampo will never allow uh, the CD that has been uh, having information to be put on other information. So this is the information we are going to be burning onto our disk. So what are we going to do first? I'm going to come to my Ashampo. I come to the first option here, which says burn files and folders. And having clicked on that, they are giving me another arrow that takes me to either if I'm going to be creating a new CD or DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, I'll click onto this option. And having clicked on it, uh, they are going to tell me to put or drag my files to this section. But down here, we have a CD and a DVD. So that means that if you're having information more than, uh, let's say, 4.7 GB, then you will need to get what we call a Blu-ray disk. So now, I can either use uh, these options. For example, I can create a new folder onto my section here, or I can just click on the option that says Add then I'll be able to locate where my information is. But remember, my information is on the desktop, so I'll click on the desktop, then I look for my files. You can just drag a little, then look for the files you want to put onto that disk. So the files are here. So we can as well click on them, then command, click on the option that says add. And if at all you don't want to use that option, you can as well come and drag the files, then drop them into this area. And having dropped them there, you can as well be able to double click and open and see whether you confirm whether the files are existing. And I think the files are here. So another thing we are going to be doing is uh, to click on the option that says next. But for our case, remember I've said that if you have already used a CD, it will not be allowed by a shampoo. And we are going to try that and see. Remember, when the CD has been already used, it will put an X for you, indicating that it is not going to be allowed. So let's use any CD that has been actually uh, used before to see whether a shampoo denies that CD or DVD. So let me insert it into my computer. Then I give it some time to be read. And remember, if at all you didn't have your tray open, you can as well come to this option and open the tray. So it will be ejected, then you can as well be able to insert in your DVD or CD, then give it some time to load. 
uh, it is actually still processing. And finally, uh, they have denied this. Remember, this is the first one we have used to ban information onto it. So a shampoo has denied it. That means that we are going to eject it. We put in a new CD or DVD. So I'm going to click on the option that says open tray. And when I click on open tray, it is actually going to be brought out. So I'll be able to insert in another CD or DVD that I want to use. You also give it some time as it is processing uh, to see whether the information is actually there or not. Finally, we have put in a new uh, DVD and it has actually been indicated with a tick. That means that we are now ready to go or we are now ready to use it. It is fine. We can record our data there. So what we are going to do next is to click on the option that says right to DVD. So I'm going to click on this option and having clicked on it, of course, uh, the process is now doing its task and they are telling us up here that writing the data to DVD and the progress is down here as you're going to be seeing it up to the end. So our progress is there and finally uh, it is actually showing us that it is uh, closing the session as you're looking at it. So our Ashampo Burning Studio is taking effect and it is cleaning our DVD and it is soon going to close the session. It is finally finishing as you're looking at the session is soon closing. You have to be a little bit patient, uh, but remember uh, you have to wait until the session uh, gets done because if you if you stop it, uh, then you'll be actually in trouble because it will discard that operation and the work won't be burnt onto the DVD or the CD. So you have to be a little bit patient and you wait for it to either close the session by itself. It is closing the session as you're seeing. Uh, it is closing the session. You have to be a little bit patient. And finally, our uh, data has been recorded successfully. So they have given us this option down that data has been recorded successfully. And that is how exactly we can uh, burn our files to the disk that we have either a CD or a DVD or even a Blu-ray disk. So I'm going to click on the option that says OK. And finally, I can click on the option that says exit. So if you at all you had others, then you'd uh, be able to follow the same procedure and burn your data onto the disk. So I'm going to be clicking on the option that says exit. We can as well uh, insert that CD or DVD back into our computer and as well be able to check whether the information has been recorded successfully and I know our information is ready to use. So it's been Henry the Computer Guy and if I told you new to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell to always be notified when I upload a new video. Bye-bye, I sign out.